All right, guys. In previous video, we did our uh, our season flash message. Okay. Now in this video, we're going to upload an image. So we want to have one input type here uh, for image, and we're gonna uh, upload image for our product. So for, before doing that, uh, in our in our database, uh, there is no where is that? Uh, uh, there is. Uh, you can see there is no field for you know uh, image so let's let's update our migration and model so that we can have that in here so we we have to remove every data okay so let's let's do that uh, let's let's go to our um, migration uh, inside that inside database let's go inside migration there is the box and we'll say dollar table we're making a column uh and it'll take a string and we'll say image all right it'll add a image column and with type string what's wrong here oh all right let's save it our migration is done now let's open our model where is that mm, yeah here and we'll just add here image to fill up all maze all right let's save that now let's let's migrate that so for that we have to do php artisan migrate press you have you can do that this in development mode but in your you know production mode you it'll remove all the data let's enter and you can see it'll remove our all the data all products all category everything okay it will, it will give just everything empty yeah, it's migrating now let's refresh yeah you can see everything is gone everything all right now we can create that of course from our run and let's create a few of them because we want to source okay that things uh, let's create category uh, kitchen appliances okay all right let's submit that and let's let's create our products add product here is only one okay uh what will we say title let's say what <laughs> let's say tab tabs let's do price and submit that we image doesn't have a default value oh so for image now let's let's have you know we can actually do that um in in our migration we can say uh nullable uh we can say nullable but we won't say that because we want our image to be there we can say that okay uh and it will not ask uh so now let's 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 add here you know uh our let's add form for uploading file let's uh, search bootstrap uh for our image uploading form okay and in documentation <clears throat> let's see image uh image thumbnails input will it give i don't know let's search this let's see what we get uh, we need file okay uh, for that let's add uh, let's let's open our form let's close this uh, this is in create blade all right and where it is mm. yeah uh, form we have to say uh, ink tab multipart what was that I forgot Anyway, uh, we'll have that. Where is file? In forms. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, here it is. Choose file. It's a, like this, okay? Um, so let's... Let's copy this, you know, our this form group. 
and let's paste it somewhere yeah after selecting okay let's say this uh let's say select select product image we'll say all right uh, and yeah type file let's give name image name equals to image and yeah everything must be good now also oh no cancel let's refresh yeah here we have and let's let's give margin top of two I know why it's not working. Yeah, and where is that? Let's share it, okay. Uh, ink type form. and we need that okay ink type multi-part form data okay let's copy this and let's put in our form where it is come on come on yeah let's paste that here and let's save this all right now we we have image okay uh, in our form name image let's save that from here uh this is image we don't want a string uh so we will save a string in database and you know uh our 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 image will be in our storage folder right here you can see where it's storage um here in the storage uh you'll see soon inside app inside public there will be our folder so let's let's write code to save our image all right uh after requesting we'll we have to save our image if we'll say if if dollar request if dollar request has has file has file image and after that we'll say dollar destination underscore path uh, this will uh, this will uh, say where we want to save our image we'll say inside public which is inside our stories it will be actually in two parts two folder we have to create stories link we'll do that and image so what is our image image is our request dollar request request file image all right our file image is our image and part is where we want to save that and our image name what is our image name this is what what we what we want our image to have name okay image we will say get client original name so it will say original name let's do that and bad will say bad is equals to dollar request dollar request file image store and it is it will store in our destination part and it will save our image image name okay all right and after doing that it will store and we want to see that our input image which is you know inside input so we'll say input has one image which will be our image underscore name all right let's let's save that and let's try to do what will happen and and we have to also create php artisan storage 
link so it will save our you know it said that uh, it says from pop blog public storage link has been created connected to blog storage app public okay it is saying is all it's saying is uh image will be saved here okay public error will be one storage link okay storage link so uh so if image from here can be here okay you can you'll see that shortly let's refresh let's add tv let's download tv image download tv image images we'll go to on splash actually mm -mm -mm. which tv is nice let's do this save image as uh we want to have uh, this in desktop all right what happened let's say a tv tv.jpeg all right uh, i don't know if it work or not yeah so let's say that also we have to set television because of validation caps lock is on all right let's have it nothing matters desktop tvjpeg so i'll meet that and it's a television successfully say let's see our products if there is you can see tvjp is, is in here so our name is saved here and let's see our storage folder if there is or not actually i have to start my this once again because you know it is not working i have to really search for solution okay okay let's see <clears throat> if there is uh, we can also in public, yeah, here is stories, you know, got stories link created, see, here is image, all right, and now let's see in our stories folder too, in stories there is a public, yeah, yeah, you can see that, so now uh, we have saved image and it is also in our stories and also in public, so in, in next video we'll show that or in this video. Uh, maybe let's try to have right now in welcome blade uh, where will it say all right after category let's say image all right and category after category so copy paste paste and inside here we'll say that mm, uh, it should be image tag actually. Um, image src is equals to here we'll have our path, okay? And let's close this. Alright, and inside here we'll say our path. So it will be asset. And inside here, I don't know. Am I right or wrong? Let's see where is our that stories public. So let's do slash public slash what is folder images slash images slash products product. We are products products and we'll concat it with dollar product image all right let's let's try to see it oh i have to start php audition sharp all right let's refresh that it's broken so let's let's see let's inspect it okay so we can you know have our path local host slash public image let's open that in panel new panel and here we'll say slash stories s-t-o-r-i-g-e it isn't found 
slash in this last app. Let's do that. Mm, what is the problem? Localhost. Uh, let's open this in, you know, images public products. I don't think we have to say this. Let's say stories. Stories slash images. I know how it works. Yeah, you can see that. So let's send that to stories. Uh, yeah. And let's refresh. Here you can see it is a little bit much longer, let's say. All right, so let's have some height here. We'll say height. Is equals to 100 px and no yeah it's good let's have 50 for now we just want to so all right let's download this in my yeah and i'll say watch and yeah uh, let's let's save that add product what price actually i have to add more you know category it's but that's okay yeah you can see that so that's how we can do we can also you know uh like arrange this like e-commerce type like you can click and open but this is you this is basics okay as I, I just don't want to do that i may have another series for that but for now our image is saved and let me show you uh, what is done is uh, how the storage folder is created from where uh, it, it's saying public images products so it will create uh, public inside public inside images inside product it will create our file All right so that's it for this video this is quite a bit longer I could have in the like in five seven minutes but you have to understand it okay so in next video I don't know what I'm going to do what we'll see that okay uh thank you for watching guys